Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Lusk from St. John's Episcopal Church. I want to say a special hello to the children of St. John's. I hope that you all are doing well. I'd like to offer us a children's chapel service for this Sunday, April 26th. So gather your family together and let's pray. What is the first thing that we do when we come to children's chapel? Do you remember? That's right, we light the candles and I've already gone ahead and lit them. Do you notice the special candle that's behind me? Do you remember what that's called? It's our Paschal candle. Can you say that? Paschal candle. It's our Easter candle. That reminds us of the risen Christ, that Christ is alive. And that is the new light of Easter. So we light that every Sunday during the season of Easter. Now that we have our candles lit and we have the light of God in our presence, the next thing we do is we sing our gathering song. Will you sing that with me? Come everybody, gather together. Come everybody, gather together. Come everybody, gather together. Come let us worship our God. Very good. Now we will say a collect, which is a special prayer. So the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Jesus, we gather because you rose from the tomb and you save us. By your Holy Spirit, strengthen us and care for us as children of the resurrection. Alleluia and Amen. Now, while we're in our Easter season, we offer a song of praise. So if you'll sing our Alleluia, Alleluia song with me, I would love for you to join me for that. Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, give praise to his name. So wonderful. Thank you, friends. Now, before we get to our story, I'd like us to look at our calendar. Remember that this circle helps us remember where we are in the church year and we know what season it is. So I find our Episcopal shield right here. Last week we started in our gold season, which is the Easter season. So if I move our shield here to April 26th, we're still traveling through the season of Easter. Remember, Easter is not just one day. It lasts for 50 days. So guess what? Happy Easter! Isn't that fun? We get to celebrate for 50 whole days. So we keep traveling through our gold season. Now, would you like to hear a story? I have a really special story to share with you today. It takes place right after Jesus died, but before people knew that he had risen from the dead. And it's called the Road to Emmaus. Have you ever taken a trip before? This is a really interesting trip. Let's read this together. Three days after Jesus died, Cleopas and his friend were slowly walking down the road to Emmaus. They were walking slowly because they felt very sad. Why did Jesus have to die, they wondered. After a while, a stranger began to walk along with them. The stranger was really Jesus, but Cleopas and his friend didn't know it. What are you talking about? The stranger asked. The men looked at each other. Are you the only person in town who doesn't know what just happened? They asked. They told the stranger what had happened to Jesus. Jesus was a great teacher, Cleopas said. We hoped he was the one God promised would save the world, but instead he died on a cross. We took Jesus' body down and put it in a tomb. This morning our friends went to the tomb, but Jesus' body was gone. They said there was an angel there instead. The angel told our friends, Jesus is alive. But stop being silly, 
the stranger said. How many times do you need to hear this? It was God's plan for Jesus to die and become alive again to save the world. By now, they were almost to Emmaus. Cleopas invited the stranger to stay for dinner. During dinner, the stranger picked up a loaf of bread, broke it, blessed it, and gave each man a piece. All of a sudden, Cleopas and his friend recognized the stranger. It was Jesus! <gasps> but then Jesus disappeared. Cleopas and his friend jumped up, ran from the room, and went to tell the rest of Jesus' disciples that Jesus really was alive. God kept another promise. Isn't that an amazing story? We sure do have an amazing God, don't we? I wonder how you would have reacted when you realized who was walking alongside you. I wonder what this story might tell us about the love God has for us. One thing that I noticed was that Cleopas and his friend had a big question about what happened to Jesus and that they also felt sad. Last week, when we saw what Jesus talked about with his disciples, we met his disciple Thomas, who also had some big questions about what happened to Jesus and also felt sad. What I think is amazing is that Jesus shows up every time and he has the patience to explain to them what happened and why it happened. But he doesn't tell them not to have questions. It's okay to have questions. Right now, I think we might all have some questions and we might all be feeling a little worried and concerned. But just like Jesus' disciples found, we know that Jesus always shows up. He meets us right where we are, comes alongside us and walks with us on the road of any uncertainty or worry that we have. So look for Jesus. Where is Jesus right now in your life? Where is Jesus in the midst of all that's going on? I promise you Jesus is there. And that we can always say, thanks be to God. Now we'll say together our creed, which is what we believe. Will you say the creed with me? We believe in God above. We believe in Jesus' love. We believe in the Spirit, too, that comes to show us what to do. We believe in God's one church. We believe baptism makes us one with each other. We believe God forgives. We believe in life in the world to come. Now we'll say our prayers. The first prayer that we say is a thank you prayer for the good and wonderful things that happen in our lives. Let's say a thank you prayer together. I'm thankful for beautiful warm sunshine so we can get outside and enjoy God's creation. What are you thankful for today? We say thank you so much God. We also want to say to God the things that we have questions about or feel worried or concerned about. So if you have a worry or concern prayer, let's say those things together too. I pray to God for anyone who is sick and for the doctors and nurses caring for them. I also pray for all of the grocery store workers, bus drivers, mail persons who are still bringing our mail to us. What do you want to pray for today? We say, help us, God. We trust in you. Now, do you ever make a mistake? I know that I do sometimes, and it's really important to say sorry to God for those things, just as much as it would be important to say sorry to your family or your friends. But we can always know that there is nothing that will ever, 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 ever make God stop loving you. So if you have something you'd like to say sorry for, let's say that quietly in our hearts.
We say, we're sorry, God. Thank you for always loving us. Dear God, thank you for this day and for this community gathered together. I lift up to you our thank yous, our worries, and our sorries. Take them into your heart and transform us so that we have all we need to live the lives you want us to live and love the way you want us to love. Be with us always, God. Draw us close to you. Amen. Now, as we end our service together, we sing our going out song. Will you sing our going out song with me? All right, let's get our beat started. Go on your way, enjoy, my friends. Go on your way, enjoy, my friends. Go on your way, enjoy, my friends. Let your left foot sing glory and your right say amen. Oh, my friends, it's so good to worship with you today. I hope that you're doing well, and I look forward to seeing you again, hopefully really soon. Amen.